Hi everyone, a lot of customers have come in recently and asked for a really simple but effective buzzer pattern for this time of year. So um, this is called a scruffy buzzer, I don't know what its official title is. Um, really easy to tie, really simple fly but very effective and quite versatile too so it fishes like a normal subsurface buzzer. But because it's quite scruffy, if you give it some floatant, it will hang in the surface as an emerger. So we'll, um, we'll show you a quick video on how to tie one. Have a go yourselves. Uh, they're really simple, doesn't require a lot of materials. Um, and uh, take it out in the water and hopefully it'll catch you a fish or two. This is going to be uh, olive, so I'll use an olive thread. This is a UTC thread 140, so we'll just lay down a a layer of thread in touching turns, just trim off the waist, um, go down about halfway and then grab a, uh, I'll get a new one so you can see it, he says, turkey bite, so that's what a turkey bite looks like, I don't know if you can see that, so um, you get lots of these little very coarse feathers some are longer than others um, so you want to kind of pick the longest one you can so that's what they look like tie it in point first it's got a little it's got a natural curve to it so have the curve facing outwards so point first and then go back to where you want your buzzer to start or finish about here and then back up in touching turns to about three or four mil behind the eye. You can do this with hackle pliers but um, they do kind of get in the way um, because it's such a short material you've got to be a bit careful but just wrap it up towards the eye, um, you'll see when you wrap this it's got a little ridge on one side of the of the feather which gives it a really nice segmented body effect. So it's kind of the, the good thing about turkey bites. And then just catch it down <coughs> with one turn. Trim that piece off. So we've got our body. Simple. Now you could stick a couple of orange goose bites either side of that um, and that'd be a subsurface buzzer. Um, we are going to use orange flexi floss. So we're going to trim off a piece. So wrap it around your thread. Come up underneath just catch it in, hold it back so it's directly underneath your, your hook and then once you've caught it in a couple of times pull one one side, one the other and just even them out, just make sure that they're not hanging over to one side pull that up a little bit and come back to Where you want your the back of your thorax to start. So about there. Now give your thread a bit of wax. Thorax colour, um, this is quite an important part. So it's kind of what you've got confidence in. I use um, an SLF, you could use seals fur, you could use hair's ear. SLF, this is technically I think called a ginger, but when it gets wet it goes a, a dark um, olivey colour. Um, so you just want a little bit, just a little pinch, just like that much. Lay it on your thread, just use your finger and your thumb, just brush it down evenly and just give it a twist. A lot of people um, struggle with dubbing because generally 9 times out of 10 you put far too much on but just give it a little twist and then wrap it around 
your thorax. Don't go all the way to the eye, leave a couple of mil. Um, and then bring your orange flexi floss boards, one one side and one the other, up to the top. So there are your little wing buds. We're going to cover them up, or we're going to cover the front of them up. Trim these off. Now it doesn't matter if it looks a bit scruffy and you've got a few stragglers. Uh, use some, again, Seals Fur or SLF. Just a few, you don't want, you want about half as much of the ginger or the olive that you just used. So just use a small pinch and then go over the top. Hold that back. Clear the eye. There we are. Now, quick finish. Turn that off. The most important part, this little thing. So it's a Velcro brush um, made by a company called, called Stonefo Italy. You can use Velcro on a lollipop stick, you can use the cuff of your wading jacket um, if it's got a Velcro on it. But you just want to brush this back um, and be quite harsh with it, doesn't matter, you can always trim it, but give it a good brush back so you get the black and the and the um, olive fibres sort of intermingling. Makes it, gives it that real sort of hatching insect-y type look. As I said, it's going to look a bit like it needs a haircut, so just trim off a few, hold these back, give them a bit of a trim, just makes it really leggy. Here we are. So that's your scruffy buzzer. Don't know what you call it. I call it a scruffy buzzer. Um, very effective this time of year. Um, you can fish it really, really close to the surface. So if you gink it, it will just kind of hang in the surface like a CDC buzzer or a, um, an emerger. Um, or just uh, leave it as it is and it will it will drift around and uh, and fish subsurface but really really effective really versatile fly mess around with the body color so turkey bites or um, strip peacock quill various colors dubbing SLF or seals fur in various colors um, but yeah play around and you'll find a you'll find a, a, a concoction that works best for you on your water so uh, get out there and give it a go